I'm Dr. Mike Murphy. I'm an assistant professor of computer science and information systems at Coastal Carolina University. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief comparison of the computer science and information systems programs at Coastal Carolina University. And this comparison is based on the 2013 catalog year. Specifically, I'm going to talk about the high-level differences between the Computer Science and Information Systems degrees, which we abbreviate CS and IS, show the relative credit hour distributions between the two degrees, talk about core and common requirements for both degrees, talk about the course requirements for both degrees, provide some measure of degree flexibility for both degrees, and talk about differences in math requirements, science requirements, and minor requirements. Unfortunately, in our field, we suffer from a lack of standard terminology. There is no universally accepted precise definition of either computer science or information systems. In fact, disagreements about what is, isn't, should be, and shouldn't be called computer science have existed since the field started. A degree in computer science at one university might look more like a degree in information systems at another university, depending on the faculty at that university. In addition, information systems degrees also vary between universities. Some are more technically oriented, such as computer information systems degrees. Ours are also technically oriented. While others are more business oriented, such as management information systems degrees. At Coastal Carolina University, the computer science degree is a theoretical degree. It is about understanding things. There's an emphasis on understanding why algorithms and computer systems operate as they do, and a focus on understanding how computers work. The information systems degree, on the other hand, is an applied program. It's about building stuff. The emphasis is on applications of computing systems, including the hardware and software, for solving problems in other fields. Other fields could be anything. Could be business, could be medicine, could be science, any other application domain where computers might be needed. Information Systems focuses on designing, developing, and administering technical solutions to organizational problems. If we compare the credit hour distributions between the degrees, we can see that there are some differences. On the left, I have a credit hour distribution for a typical student in the computer science degree program. And on the right is a credit hour distribution for a typical student in the information systems program. These are based on the 2013 to 2014 catalogs. Now both of these distributions assume that the first math class is Math 130i. As a result, the computer science degree requires 126 hours to complete, while the information systems degree requires 122. The core and other communications hours required by each degree are actually the same. But because of this difference based on the math placement, round off causes the percentages to be off slightly between the graphs. In reality, these blue portions, the core and other foundation requirements, are actually the same for both degrees, the number of hours, that is. Where we start in the remainder of the requirements. For example, the computer science courses, the CSCI courses, make up 44% of the computer science bachelor's degree, while for information systems, they make up 38%. Math courses, shown here in yellow, correspond to 20% of all the courses that are taken by a typical student for the computer science degree. For an information systems student, math courses, which would include business statistics or psychological, psychological statistics if taken as the statistics options, so they don't all necessarily have math prefixes, comprise 13% of the courses that would be taken. Science courses, laboratory science courses, with the associated laboratory, correspond to 3% of the credit hours for information systems, or 6% of the credit hours for computer science, as shown in green. Finally, information systems requires a minor, shown here in this purplish color or magenta color, while 
in computer science does not require a minor and therefore that color doesn't appear in the distribution. So we can see that there are some differences in how the credit hours are distributed. The core and other requirements actually require the same number of hours for either program, computer science or information systems. The way that I've broken these down shows us 38 hours. This does vary a bit by student, however. Uh, depends upon math placement, depends upon foreign language placement. This graph uh, actually does exclude the math courses, so it actually doesn't depend on math placement, but still varies by, say, English placement, whether you have to take English 101 or not, uh, and varies by foreign language placement. The CSCI course requirements do vary between the degree programs. Both programs require a common set of 16 hours of coursework. These include Computer Science 130, Computer Science 131 in lab, Computer Science 140 in lab, Computer Science 150 in lab, Computer Science 170, and Computer Science 330. However, beyond these required courses, they actually, the two programs actually diverge quite a bit. Computer Science requires 39 hours, including all of these courses, Computer Science 210, 220, 310, 350, 356, 380, 390, and 450. It also requires you to pick between Computer Science 203 or 225 and pick an additional Computer Science elective course at the 300 level or higher, except for Computer Science 399 or 497. Finally, the computer science requirements include a requirement to pick three of these courses, 360, 425, 440, 445, 460, 473, 485, and 490. I have an additional video detailing these classes, but not all of these classes are available every semester. The information systems requirements comprise 30 hours of computer science requirements above the 16 required by both programs. So an information systems major is going to take nine fewer hours of computer science requirements. These hours are, for the most part, different. These require computer science 203, 225, 335, 370, and 495. In addition, Information Systems requires one CSCI course at the 200 level or higher and four CSCI courses at the 300 level or higher, excluding Computer Science 399, the Independent Study Class, and Computer Science 497, the Internship Course. In terms of elective flexibility, I uh, came up with an interesting way of measuring this. And what I did is I used a mathematical uh, func function called a combination to compute the number of possible different ways that you could complete the elective courses for computer science. In each degree program, there are five elective courses, totaling 15 hours. So what I did is for each requirement, considering the constraints of each requirement, I took the mathematical combination of possible ways to complete that requirement and then I summed those combinations in order to get the total number of combinations by which you could potentially complete the degree. This number is kind of an estimate. It's, it's Take it with a grain of salt. It's not a perfect way of measuring flexibility because flexibility is itself a concept that you really can't measure. It's a qualitative numbers on it. This measure is also imperfect because it completely ignores prerequisites. So if prerequisites are considered, the actual amount of flexibility that would be measured by this metric would be lower for both degree programs than what's shown here. I've calculated these numbers twice, both for courses listed in the catalog and for courses that were actually offered in the 2013 to 2014 academic year. And what I got were some very interesting numbers. I actually had to graph them using a logarithmic scale because of the wild differences between these figures. So each line on the scale represents a tenfold increase or an order of magnitude increase 
above the line below it. The level of flexibility in computer science among the five courses that you get to select is significantly less by several orders of magnitude than the amount of flexibility permitted by the information systems degree. However, we are talking about five courses. We are talking about 15 hours out of 120. So this metric, yeah, it looks like there's an impressive amount of flexibility here compared to this number, but we are only talking about a very small fraction of the overall number of hours that you'd have to take for the degree. One other thing I should note about the way I've graphed these courses here is that this graph actually shows the number of combinations of courses, individual courses that you can take. This is not combinations of credit hours. This is combinations of courses. So in theory, based on this imperfect model, there are some 31,000 different possible combinations of courses that you could take for information systems. But to give you an idea of how realistic that number isn't, only about 1,800 of those possible combinations would be achievable this academic year. So this is the number of courses, not the number of credit hours. It's also, as I said, an imperfect measure of flexibility because it only deals with 15 total hours out of the 120 required for the degree. So another way that we can measure the flexibility is actually to measure the hours for which you have more than one choice of course to satisfy those hours. So this graph quantifies those hours. And this is graphed on a linear scale, increasing by fives. And once again, this is number of hours, not number of courses. This graph also excludes all of the courses that are in the core. The reason being is that those courses are common to both the computer science and information systems degrees and if we included those it would simply inflate both of these numbers by about 40 hours. It'd make the graphs taller but it wouldn't really add any information. So outside of those core requirements the computer science degree program allows you to choose 25 hours in the foundation and major. In other words, for 25 hours of the foundation and major courses, you have a choice of what course to take. For information systems, that increases to 46 hours. So that by itself is more than a third of the degree is flexible. Now, of course, that does include the minor. All the minor credit hours would be considered choices because you get to choose your own minor. Okay, so imperfect quant quantifications of qualitative metrics, flexibility aside, let's quantify some things we can actually quantify, such as the math requirements. For math, I'm assuming that most people are going to place into college algebra, just based on our historical numbers. So for everybody, regardless of computer science or information systems major, there will be a college algebra requirement depending upon the placement. Also, for both majors, we require discrete math, which is Math 174. Both majors do require calculus, although this is where the majors start to differ. Computer Science requires both Calculus 1, Math 160, and Calculus 2, Math 161. Calculus 1 has trigonometry, or Math 131, as its prerequisite, so I've included it here in the calculus requirements. For information systems, you could choose between Math 132, Calculus for Business and Social Sciences, or Math 160, Regular Calculus 1, with its trigonometry prerequisite. The Math 132 class has college algebra as its prerequisite, and therefore does not require trigonometry. For statistics, the computer science degree program requires Statistics 201 and Lab, which is the elementary statistics course. Information Systems also allows that course, or you can choose Business Statistics or Psychological Statistics, but you must take one of these three statistics classes. An additional math class is also required by each degree program. Computer Science provides a choice of additional math classes, Computer Science 360, or Math 215, 220, 242, 260, 320, 344, 
307 or 308. It should be noted that Computer Science 360 and Math 307 and 308 are not regularly offered. Information Systems simply requires Math 215, which is the Operations Research class. In this graph, I show the difference in the required number of credit hours in mathematics. For computer science, this required number would be 25, assuming you place into Math 130i as your first math class. For information systems, this number would be 16 credit hours, also assuming that you place into Math 130i as your first math class, but assuming that you take Math 132 math or a calculus for business and uh, social sciences and CBAD 291 business statistics as your statistics course. So assuming that you take these two three-hour courses in lieu of their four-hour alternatives and that you don't have to take trigonometry is part of the reason why there is this difference in credit hours. Science requirements require that you choose one of these science courses to satisfy your core requirement which is also a foundation requirement for information systems so either CS or IS majors would choose one of these science courses now the physics 211 option here does actually require a core petition in order to count in the core. So we have several different choices of science requirement. The computer science degree requires an additional laboratory science course in sequence with the initial science requirement. Therefore it requires an additional four hours and doubles the required number of science credits from four hours to eight hours. We're still only talking about two science courses however both with laboratory. Finally, we have the minor requirement. The information systems degree requires a minor, which is 18 credit hours. The computer science degree, however, does not require a minor and therefore has zero credit hours in the minor. So to summarize, we offer two competing degrees, a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and a Bachelor of Science in Information Systems. Our computer science degree is focused on theory, it's focused on understanding how and why computers operate the way they do. Information systems is application focused and is concerned primarily with applications of computer technology to different organizational problems. The information systems degree does provide more flexibility in terms of the course choices owing to its slightly different design and its significantly different focus on applications.